Hello guys, my name is Hugo. Today let's talk about IPP2. This is going to be a little bit technical and uh, for Red users only. So what is IPP2? IPP2 is an image processing pipeline. So basically it's a color space for Red cameras. Many music videos, commercials, films or documentaries are shot on Red cameras. However, for some reason, editors and colorists don't take advantages of IPP2. I know it's relatively new color pipeline, but it's been out since 2017 and still not many people actually know about it. Well, IPP2 is something that actually convinced me to become a RED owner. The thing is, RED actually didn't provide a dynamic range and highlight roll-off like you get from Aria Alexa. Well, it was before I took advantage of IPP2. For instance, image from Helium sensor using IPP2 looks amazing. It has very, very high dynamic range and the highlight roll-off is very pleasant to eye. This pipeline preserves more color information, more detail details and better processing of challenging colors like neon lights, color mix and overall contrast light mix. But even if you don't have helium or monster sensor, it still works on any other camera from red lineup. IPP2 will definitely make your image look better. But you'll need to set it up in post because by default it's set to legacy color science and here how you can change it. So I use DaVinci Resolve for this. So when you go to color tab and we go to raw settings here we can change clip and usually color science by default set to original or version 2 and you need to change this one to IPP2 then probably by default it's gonna set to Rec 709 or any other profile but you need to choose to red, white, gamma, RGB if you wanna choose Rec 709 straight away you can just choose here but I prefer to choose it in log so I have more flexibility in manipulations with the footage. So I go ahead and choose log 3 G10 and you see the footage become very flat but no worries you can go to red website and you can download IPP2 output presets. Once you download the presets you have two folders one is Rec 709 and the other one Rec 2020. I use Rec 709 since most of the devices they still use Rec 709 and here you can see lots of plots you have the different settings it has uh, no contrast, medium contrast, low contrast, high contrast and also on the other side you also see that there is uh, hard size, medium size, soft size, very soft those are highlight roll-off for me personally my favorite one is high contrast, very soft so when we go here When I apply this load, I go and apply Rec 709 and I go high contrast, very soft. And straight away you have very beautiful image with enough contrast, with enough color, saturation and everything. From there, of course, you can manipulate. So this little trick will help you to make your red image look a lot better. And if you, for instance, have many cameras, it's a lot better to color match those cameras when you use uh, IPP2 color science. I hope this information was useful for you. If you like, if you like this video, click on subscribe button if you want to watch more videos like this. Thank you for your time. Bye.